All right, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to set up a Microsoft 365 email account on the iPhone using Microsoft's own Outlook app. And this is good information as of about mid-2025. Both Microsoft and Apple seem to like changing these things the way that they work. But hopefully this information should be good for, for a good while. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you have the Outlook app on your iPhone. If you don't, go into the App Store, look for it. Make sure it's the official Outlook app. The icon should look something like this. And make sure it's from Microsoft. Don't go for anything that's that's an alternative to that. Don't go for anything that says Outlook.com on it. That is something completely different. You want the actual Microsoft Outlook app on your phone. So once you've got that, launch the app. And it's going to take you to the uh, account setup screen. And you're going to want to click Add Account. Because this is assuming you've already got an email account. Maybe for work or something like that. And you just want to add it to Outlook. So you tap on Add Account. All right. And you'll be prompted for your email address. And you want to type in your work email address there. And when you've done so, your email will appear there. And you're going to tap on Add Account. OK. At this point, it will take you to a slightly different looking login screen showing your email address there and having you put in your password. So go ahead and put in that password. It will be masked as you type it in. Your email will be there. Just tap on sign in. Okay, at this point, it will. your account is going to prompt you most likely for some kind of multi-factor authentication, which is something that you would have set up prior to this point. Um, if you haven't set it up, then it's going to try and have you set it up now. And if you run into that, what I would recommend is that you stop, just back out of this whole process, cancel everything, and go to a computer where you can get on a web browser, log in at office.com with your work email and password, and do the setup of multi-factor authentication there. It's just a lot easier to get that done when you're doing it on a computer and your phone is a separate device. Trying to set up all of that on the phone, it can be a little bit clunky switching back and forth between apps and not losing sessions and things like that. So if you don't have multi-factor set up yet, go do that on a computer. Then come back, work your way back up to this point. And at this point, you'll be prompted for either the Microsoft Authenticator or something like that, or you might be prompted for uh, a number to be texted to you or, or called it really depends on how you were prompted, you know, the options you were given to set it up. In our case, we're lucky. We, we only have to worry about receiving a text message. We don't have to worry about the authenticator. So we, we would tap on this here. Your, your actual process may vary a bit if you've got the authenticator involved. Okay? And if you were doing like us, having a number texted to you, your email is going to show up here. You're going to type in the number that was texted to you or that was delivered to you by a phone call. If you've got the authenticator, this this goes a little differently. You don't really typically you don't have to type in anything. Uh, it's just it it just kind of the authenticator integrates with this and takes care of it. Okay, so if you did have to type in a number, you would then click verify. At that point, your account is added, and they're asking, "Would you like to add another account?" Most of the time, you you're not doing multiple of these in a row, so you can click maybe later. You can always come back and add another account to Outlook later. Then you'll get prompted for a couple notices related to Outlook, asking your permission to es essentially use the notification system in the iPhone to let you know when new email comes in, things like that. It's totally up to you if you want to turn these on or not. Um, you know, you can you can say turn on or you can say no thanks. It really that's all that has to do with is. You know, are there going to be beeps and messages and things like that on the phone to let you know when mail comes in? So you should select whatever is appropriate for your work situation there. If you need them, turn them on. If not, then you don't have to. After you've, if you do say you want to do it, then the phone is separately going to ask you for permission to let this app do what you just told it you wanted it to do. I don't know why it has to ask twice, but it does. So if you did want notifications, you would then click allow. And that is that. At that point, your email is set up on your phone using the Outlook app. So that's that for that tutorial. Have a great day.